Hi everyone, and welcome back to Comic Book Issues. I'm your host, The Last Angry Geek. And it's time for another one of our YouTube channel exclusive Loot Crate unboxings. This time, it's the July 2017 Loot Crate animation. Bob's Burgers and Rick and Morty, two shows I don't watch. TMNT, which I watched when I was a kid. And Futurama, which is a great show that I love. So I'm really looking forward to that item in here. Just met Billy West at Anime Midwest. Very nice man. Uh, I got mine very late. It came 10 days after it shipped, so... Uh, I'm sure every other unboxer has their video out there. So let's just go ahead and open it, see what they sent us. We'll do the shirt first. And this looks like the TMNT one because of the green. There we go, what is this? And it is, it's a nice turtle print with the turtle wagon on the bottom, which made its return in the second Michael Bay TMNT film. Uh, let's see how it looks on me. You know, this is my second uh, 1980s cartoon show t-shirt from Loot Crate uh, in the last two boxes. I just had the Optimus Prime one and now this one. This is a very nice print. I just kind of wish the uh, image weren't on. This is one of these things you see a lot nowadays where they got like a car on the side, I guess. I've, I've been seeing that a lot today, specifically, so that's kind of weird. But... Um, up here, I like my I like my T-shirt logos up in the chest. So I'm not crazy about the design, but it's a comfortable T-shirt, and I like I like the turtle shell print. So there's that. Let's see what else they sent us. I'm sucking on a lozenge because I've had a terrible allergy that was it was almost like a cold basically. I've got a Rick and Morty Rick figure, explicit content. It says, "Peace among worlds." We wish you peace among worlds from season two, episode six. The Rick's six. The Rick's must be crazy. We've recreated Rick giving his microverse greeting for your displaying pleasure. Again, I have not seen the show. I hear good things, but I get depressed when I read what it's about and all the psychological. Pro I like happy shows. He said, having just watched Game of Thrones and Twin Peaks. Okay, yeah, he's giving us the finger. So it's Rick giving us the finger. Move in just a little bit. There you go. Leave hey. Bob's Burgers. We've got the Bob's Burgers box. Which is... Contains a book, I guess? Okay, let's see what's in here. I can't pick the damn plastic open. I don't have... We're going to pause right here. I had to go get uh, scissors to open this. So let's see what they... Man, this is sharp-ass plastic. Let's... And I just ripped the box now trying to get the damn plastic open. Okay, there we go. Get the plastic off. And inside, we have the burger of the day. The Bob's Burgers Burger Box. Real Recipes for Joke Burgers. Written by Lauren Bouchard and the writers of Bob's Burgers. Recipes by Cole Bowden. So there's a Abraham Lincoln Yeti thing on the back. Is that from the show? So it looks like burger recipes based on the Bob's Burgers universe. And his burgers are supposed to be very good. So it'll be interesting to look there, see what the recipes are. I like uh, finding recipes and making new things. What else do we have? This but not least, we have Futurama. It's a Slurm Drink Cozy. That's cool. It's a two-pack. We've got two of them. Normally you only get one Drink Cozy in these things, but that's cool. I like Slurm. Okay. I'm not a big drink cozy guy, let's be honest. Bob's Burgers, the is the loot pin. We have the one son, Gene, I believe, dressed up as a burger. And then we have the magazine. The inside is a Bob's Burgers box. I'm not gonna unfold it, sorry. But they really went all out all out with the Bob's Burgers stuff. Um I always like getting books. 
so that's good. The figure is pretty high quality. Uh, it's not one of their normal Q figs or uh, pops, but you know, it's a high quality figure that they made just for Loot Crate, I believe. I believe it's an exclusive. I think the uh, Loot Crate original, yes. I'm not a huge drink cozy guy, but I like Slurm. I like the any Futurama stuff is okay with me. And the t-shirt is nice quality, even if I'm not particularly crazy about the design. This is a better box than I expected. I didn't have high hopes for this box, but it's not bad. Hopefully the next Loot Crate unboxing you'll be seeing a lot sooner, sooner than a month, because like I said, I got this box very late. Hopefully the next one comes a little more on the usual schedule. Until then, my friends, this is Comic Book Issues, and I'm your host, The Last Angry Geek.